Let's turn into Priscilla Presley, bitch. Hi, it's Trixie, and today on the channel, we are gonna turn into Priscilla Presley. She's one of the most beautiful women ever to be ever, ever. And I specifically am referencing our like late 60s Priscilla. She has super fair skin, brown hair, big lashes, pouty lips. I mean, she just is one of the only women on the planet who makes me, Trixie Mattel, wanna wear a dark wig. So we had a dark wig made for this. I went to the premiere here in Los Angeles this week and I, went to the film premiere with the actors and Priscilla, and I will tell you the craziest story while I get ready. So let's do it. I'm gonna go cover my brows and be right back. Giant red sponge. Okay, it's Halloween season, which means the Halloween at CBS, etc., is amazing. Wet n Wild makes these giant sponges. And I just was thinking for Priscilla, I really want this like perfect, almost satin matte, like, like, porcelain doll look, which is gonna be perfect for my favorite foundation for Makeup Forever. Foundation. So she's quite fair. So I have my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin here and I have it in the color 225, which is lighter than my usual three. So I'm, just, I'm really trying to go light. All right, I really want that baby doll skin, so I have the one size Secure the Blur. This is a very mattifying primer. So I'm just gonna do that kind of in the center of my face. And then for overall skincare here for hydration, I have First Base from Trixie Cosmetics. I'm really addicted to using this, even on days where I don't put makeup on. My skin is so thirsty and it needs like, before I put like moisturizer or serum or, or for makeup, I need to put moisture in. This really is like just part of my process now. I have to just and then no matter what condition my skin is in, I know that this is gonna start us off correct. I got this giant wet and wild sponge because I was like, I really want to get ready quickly today. I guess I'm, I'm on a mission, but I'm still lazy. Don't ever forget that. So we are going a little lighter than usual, just a little. As you guys know for Trixie, I like to go kind of California and tan and beachy, but Priscilla was really fair. I won't give away too much in the movie, but it's clear that she spent a lot of her years as a married woman indoors. She had a very interior sort of life. We're going to lighten, we're going to brighten under the eye. This is the multitask concealer from Rimmel, I think. Rimmel London. I just like to, I know we're gonna do like shaping and stuff. Now, I find that I have to try not to just go into my muscle memory when I do these like character looks or I end up just doing Trixie makeup with a different hair color. I sadly don't look just like Priscilla Presley, so I have to kind of concentrate here. Priscilla has a rounder head than I do, right? Okay, I saw her in person the other day. She is a round faced woman and I have a long men's face, so I need to try to split the difference here. She also doesn't, you know, I mean, she doesn't wear a ton of eyeshadow. The look really is lashes and liner and brows. It's not a bunch of eyeshadow look. And by the way, this could flop. If you're looking for a channel, I, listen, I am not a, a makeup transformation artist who turns into characters and celebrities. I don't know what I'm doing. Think about how bad I look in drag on a regular basis, and think about the fact that it took me 15 years to figure out just this look. So the likelihood of me pulling this off really quickly is, not high. Priscilla, she does contour, but not the way Trixie does, right? It's not this geometric crazy, I am gonna shade the forehead, I am gonna shade the cheeks, I am gonna shade the jaw, but it's not gonna be, I'm not a woman, so I can't exactly do her makeup because I'm gonna look like me, Brian, with this Priscilla makeup on, and I can't exactly go full drag or it's not gonna look like Priscilla. So I just have to try to cheat the middle here. I think brows is a good place to start. So Priscilla's brows are so manicured. I mean, they are very dark and very full and very perfect. So I think we might actually use stencils today. They're not super arched. They have a very soft, round sort of shape to them um, compared to like drag queen eyebrows. So I'm looking for something with kind of a low arch here. I have got the uh, Anastasia dark brown here and I, I normally don't do powder brows anymore, but Priscilla's brows really look fuzzy and fluffy. They don't look super it out. They look fluffy and buttery and, and full and, and sweet. They do have, I mean, her face really has a sweetness to it. At least her makeup in this era. I'd be interested to know, they didn't talk about it in the movie. I'd be interested to know like um, how she figured out her look. I wonder if a makeup artist helped her or if she just was maybe one of those gals who can look at a magazine and just like copy what they see in a magazine. Some people are just good at that. These stencils are from Trio Beauty, by the way. This is dark brown. And again, I'm just trying to go a little dark here because she do have darker eyebrows. If you've never used an Anastasia product before, just to warn you, uh, the brow products are kind of unmatched. They really are just absolutely beautiful. The packaging, the color range, even the price point, I think they really, they really just know what they're doing over there with brows. I mean, actually not bad. I need to sketch around this, but that's actually not 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 what I was looking for here. I used to use stencils when I first started doing drag. I wonder if she used stencils. It's just such a retro thing to do, but if you want your brows to look stamped on, 
I had an Aunt Diane, and she had very stenciled, penciled, penciled, penciled brows. And when I was a kid, I thought she was so glam, because she wore like blue eyeshadow, a garage door of blue eyeshadow, light frosty blue eyeshadow, and a pencil brow, and like blush. And like, I just thought, when I was younger, I thought like, the more makeup women wear, it means they're more beautiful. I don't know if that all makes sense now, but that's what I thought when I was a kid. I'm gonna sketch around this brow, because once I sketch around it, I think I'm gonna have a good idea that we are on the right track here. You can't be fearful with makeup. I say that all the time on this channel, and then you guys watch me put makeup on and flip out the whole time, so I don't know. When the end is not perfect, but I'm gonna be able to finish the end in a second. Now I noticed Priscilla's brows, they do go up and down quite a bit. The other thing is Priscilla's eyes are farther apart than mine. Not like Jackie O far apart. They're farther apart than mine. So I'm trying to cheat the brow more out. You know, normally I would bring my brow in more here, but I'm really trying to use the brows to make the eyes look farther apart than they are because that Priscilla liner goes in. And if I don't create some space, that inner liner, I, there's gonna be no room for the liner, so. I mean, it has a very stamped look, but her brows had a stamped look, so let's just go with it, okay? Until we get big black liner and stuff on, these brows are gonna look large and in charge. So I'm gonna do the brow on the other side and be right back. All right, it's not perfect, but listen, Elvis isn't trying to marry me, all right? Like, it's fine. Yeah, they're so dark, but that's okay, that's okay. I think I gotta start doing some of the shaping here. I'm gonna use my, normally I do my shaping with liquid foundation, but today because I really am trying to do this correctly, I'm gonna do like a paint by number situation. Priscilla has a nice round face, so I'm gonna try to shave down my forehead and shave up my jaw and, and not not cut too much in my cheeks because I wanna try to cheat my face just a little rounder. You no, know, she really is unbelievably beautiful. You guys, at the film of the night, so, the storyline is, I got an email saying, Sofia Coppola would like to come you, to have you watch Priscilla. And I was like, why does Sofia Coppola know who I am? Don't ask questions, just be happy you're being invited somewhere, right? And then I was like, well, I should go in drag. I should go in like Priscilla drag. My first thought was, oh, I should go in like dark hair, Priscilla drag, you know, really try to pay homage to the beauty and the icon. And then last minute I was like, you know what? When I went to Barbie and drag, the problem is I sit there and drag and watch a movie. And sitting in drag and watching a movie is not fun. Like I'm just in full drag watching a movie. And by the way, later that night I met Rashida Jones, you know, Ann Perkins, Karen Filippelli. And I was like, well, I didn't want to come in drag because I didn't want to sit there in lashes and hair and a dress and a corset and watch a movie. And she goes, welcome to being a woman at a movie premiere. And I was like, damn, these women do get plucked and tucked and just sit there and have to watch a movie. And then at the last minute I was like, you know what? It's not my movie and I don't want to show up and drag in a themed outfit to a, a movie where I don't really know the tone. But if it's like very somber and I'm sitting there dressed as her, like that's kind of inappropriate, right? See, I'm trying to go light. Famous last words, but I'm trying to go light with this contour, you guys. So I go to the movie, right? It's at the Academy of, um, in LA, there's like this Academy of Motion Pictures, like a museum where they have a John Waters exhibit right now that's amazing. So I go there and I get in line, I go to watch the movie. I am I walk in, the tone is more, it's a, it's a, because of everything going on in the world right now, the strikes and, you know, world conflicts, the premieres right now are very low key. So I was so happy I didn't go and drag because it would have been so inappropriate, right? It was a very cool kind of who's who, there was a lot of like gay famous comedy people there and like real A-list celebrities there. And so I was like, thank God I didn't come here in a clown outfit, right? Because one time Gottmik and Gigi put out their new book and I went to a reading of it at the LGBT center and I thought it was gonna be like a party, nightclub party. It was a somber overhead lighting reading of some of the heavier material in the book. And I'm just in full drag like. So sometimes it's inappropriate to go and drag, but they also invite me because they want me to go and drag. So sometimes I don't know what the vibe is. So then I'm like, well, I wonder if Priscilla's here, right? I mean, for me, somebody who loves 60s beauty and like Priscilla is a major inspiration for me. She always has been, right? My grandpa used to show me pictures of her and I was like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. There's an empty chair next to us and the movie starts and the actor and the actress come out and they're so great and beautiful. And Sophia comes out and she looks beautiful and she says some great stuff about filmmaking. And Priscilla walks in and sits next to us next to us. So we're watching the story of Priscilla's life, like basically from when she was 14, 15 and met Elvis up through her divorce. And we're sitting next to her watching it. And I'm thinking, A, this is so crazy. I hope there's nothing so intimate that like, you know, her sharing probably very somber parts of her life you know, very intimate moments, the birth of her daughter, the marriage to Elvis, like she's sharing these things on screen in a way. And I'm sitting next to her and, I, and, then, and then I go, well, thank God I didn't dress up as her. Could you imagine of all the places in the theater, if she comes and sits next to me, and I don't want to give away too much of the movie, but there's some scenes that aren't exactly uplifting. What if she's sitting there and it's a very, you can hear a pin drop, some of the, the very tender, tender moments in the film. And I'm sitting there in clown version of her like, so like, thank God. Okay, thank God. I'm gonna start shaving this jaw down, homie. By the way, it's a P24. I never use this for contouring because it, it, it buffs really well. And you know, for Trixie makeup, I usually like harder. But this is a great 
brush for just buffing on contour or buffing on cream bronzers. I've just never been good at subtle makeup. I know that's horrible. Like I used to do beauty makeup on real people, but for drag makeup, I've just never been good at it. I don't feel beautiful or confident in drag unless I've completely disappeared. Oh, I got to meet Rashida Jones, which was very exciting. You guys know I'm an Office super fan. And I said hi to Sophia, of course, and she was sitting next to Rashida. And I said, oh, Sophia, my partner loves your movies. He would love to say hi. And you know, David loves Sophia's films. He loved Virgin Suicides and all that. So he wanted to meet her. And then I go, and Rashida, I'm such a fan. She goes, of me? I said, yes. I said, I love Parks and Rec. I said, Rashida, I want you to know The Office is my comfort show. And I watch it in times of emotional strife. And I've watched it about three times a year for 10 years. So what does that tell you about where I've been? And she laughed. And then I was like, will you do my outgoing message as Karen Filippelli from Dunner Bifflin? And I think she either didn't hear me or pretended not to hear me. That's fine. Sometimes I cross the line. All right, so I'm trying not to cut my cheeks too much Trixie style, but I got to give myself a little. We do need a little lift there. So anyway, sometimes life is weird. Just like sitting next to Priscilla, watching Priscilla, like the movie was just, it was really odd, you guys. And then the next day, it's Dave and I's anniversary. I wake up, the Amoeba Records in Hollywood says, Nancy Sinatra is gonna be here today doing a signing, come at 11 o'clock to buy an album and get your voucher. And I go, I'm gonna have to go. So then the next day after, after sitting next to Priscilla in her movie, I wake up and walk down the street and go get my meet and greet. And then I went and got, I, I met and greet Nancy Sinatra. And I'll tell you this, I haven't really been to a meet and greet on y'all side of it. It was terrifying. I was absolutely terrified the whole time. I was like, uh, hi Nancy, I uh, love your music and I have a motel in Palm Springs and I would love you to visit. And she follows me on Instagram, but I was too afraid to be like, you know who I am, be my, like, I don't know. I, I'm embarrassed to tell people who I am. I'd rather just try to not say anything and try to just, stare at them as long as I can. With someone like Nancy Sinatra, I'm just like, oh, I'm just trying to stare. I'm trying to give Priscilla a little more dignified nose than I normally do, so I'm not doing as dark of brown or as light of highlights here. That's pretty nice. Now, we have to do some more highlighting under the eye here, so I'm gonna take my Trixie Cosmetics P23. It's a nice, flat, short foundation brush, and that's what I'm gonna use to dig into this very light highlight and just start laying precision-wise. With Trixie makeup, I really go broad and I guess with this makeup I'm trying to do, if I can, I'm trying to do something a little more subtle and specific here. If I end up looking like Trixie at the end of this if with black hair, I warned you, okay? I'm not Alexa Stone, all right? I can't just like turn into Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm just a woman. I'm just a woman. What else did I really love about the film? It's, you guys, there's scenes that just could have made me cry. I mean, I'm not a film person. I don't know about films. I don't watch movies and look up who directed them. I don't, I don't always know. This was maybe my, my first film watching a Sofia Coppola film where I tried to really pay attention and, and see what makes it her film. And it was so soft. And there's these moments where there's no dialogue, where it's just her unpacking makeup from a train case and you just see hands and acrylic nails putting like perfume down and stuff. And you're like, I wanna live in this movie. I wanted to crawl through the screen and live in the fake Graceland in the movie. It was so beautiful. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna blend out the cheeks more because again, I'm trying not to have my face bisected. Priscilla's look isn't necessarily blush heavy, but blush is always there. And for looks like that, I love to use cream blush. So we have Sweetie from Trixie Cosmetics. It's a very soft, peachy, pinky, beigey, nudie. It's like pink without being pink, blushy, blush, blush. It's like that kind of vibe. Do you see that? And this is what I'm gonna use to just cook the blush into the foundation and that way at the end, I don't have to put so much blush on. Say what you want, liquid cream blushes, they do look different. They just look like they're actually coming from inside your face. See, it's just different, it's just different. I'm gonna do a little more on the back. I really want it to wrap. Again, I don't want to make my head narrower today. I'm trying to make it wider. So instead of contouring all the way up there, I'm just gonna do some blush. The other way I'm gonna add some like length to the side of the face is I'm gonna take my brush with my light concealer here and just extend here. I want to make it look like the cheekbone goes out as far as possible. See that? And the face suddenly gets wider. Because my eyes are so close together, you guys. I don't I don't have a lot of ways to change this, but what I can do is add real estate on the sides with some of the highlighting. It's almost time to powder this down, so I think we should do so. I got my one size powder here. Oh, there's a huge mistake here. Thanks for saying nothing, you guys. Thank you so much. My other problem is, you guys, when I'm around famous people, I have this problem where when I see them, I have a compulsion to lock eyes with them and say their name. And sometimes I don't even have the name right. Catherine Hahn walked in and she's standing in front of me and she's kind of talking to someone and she's looking at me and she looks at me and as Catherine Hahn looks at me, I go, Madeline Kahn. It's not Madeline Kahn. David goes, that's not Madeline Kahn. And you need to stop saying people's names when they're a foot away from you. And if you are, can you say the correct name? You had a point? <laughs> you had a good point. So not only am I being so like uncool by just noticing famous people, I'm calling 
I'm confidently calling him the wrong name, Mary. Madeline Kahn. It's Catherine Hahn. Madeline Kahn's been dead for 25 I know. Madeline Kahn from Clue. Madeline Kahn and Catherine Hahn are both amazing. They have similar names in a way, but not really. Wake up, Mary. Pay attention. I'm never gonna get invited anywhere again. Nick and I were just at New York Comic Con and absolutely no one knew who I was. They either thought I was Barbie or they thought I was a Trixie impersonator. I've been the fake Madeline Kahn. Am I pulling this off? This is softer than usual, you guys. Don't like lie. Keep in mind, this makeup is all eyes and we haven't done the eyes yet. So I think this looks pretty, but we'll see. I think I could add just a little more blush. I have this Island Shine blush from ColourPop. That's just perfect for setting the cream blush a little bit. Let's do the eyeliner. So I got some product here. This is Priscilla from Half Magic. There's like a little Priscilla and Half Magic collab. Inspired by Sofia Coppola's Priscilla, makeup artist Donnie Davey, hi Donnie, reimagines how to achieve Priscilla Presley's iconic iconic 60s winged eye look with effortless ease. <sighs> this came with a liquid liner, a lengthening mascara, and it came with something crazy. It came with a, I guess, guide, like eyeliner guide. I don't know if I would use this. Like that, I don't know. I think I just like to freehand, but then again, you guys know how much I like to up the makeup. Let me get a good look at my Priscilla picture. I think we have to start with the liner on one eye and see how we feel. So the Priscilla liner has, it wings in in the middle, right? There's like a line here, like a fox liner almost. It goes up and out. And instead of the Trixie liner, which is winged geometric, it's like an isosceles triangle. It needs to be up, down, and out. So I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna do this like you would do it on the internet. Like I've seen real makeup artists do it, which is I'm pretty sure you mark where you want the middle to be. About there. I'm gonna mark where it should start. It's gotta go in about that far, I think. Well, let's go further. By the way, this liner, do you guys see this? It's like a little, little like eyeliner shovel. It's an interesting shape. It's like a felt tip if the felt tip was smashed, like a guitar pick. Interesting. And then I'm gonna say that it goes, let's see here and, oh, I think that's right. I mean, what if I actually did a good job? Would you guys like immediately turn off the video? Like that's not what I signed up for. By the way, I saw Benny Drama at the premiere for Priscilla and he was like, oh my God, girl, the other day I was watching one of your makeup videos, the one where you were getting personal and you really moved me. And I said, Benny Drama, what's going on in your life that you're sitting in a tub watching drag queens on your phone? What's going on in your life? You need to look inward, but thank you. Is that big enough? I'm gonna go a little bigger in the middle. Don't yell at me. I think that's right. I'm gonna do that on the other side and come back. So now we're gonna fill in the liner. I just. Normally you do the liner last, but for this look, I need I need the anchor of the lash line to tell me where everything else goes. If, if I think if anybody knows graphic liner, you know sometimes you do have to do liner first, so you can see what's actually going to happen up there. Use the pen liner on the end. That's pretty. I do like it. I mean, I don't. I would never wear it for me all the time, but I I like that shape. That like, whew, it's a little bit Ami Wienhaus. Love that. I mean. That's the liner. It just looks crazy right now. Her liner is, she does have white. It's different than the Trixie white. Let's see, maybe I can paint it with this. I don't wanna bust out the full white like cream. So I'm gonna try to paint it on with this. This is my Sephora eyeliner liquid, intense liquid eyeliner in white and they don't make it anymore. So I'm just like constantly running out of it. I wouldn't recommend doing this much white liner with liquid. Not a smart move, Beverly. Sometimes in makeup, I do things that I know, be I know better. I knew this wasn't probably the right move and then I just did it. And then I'm, now I'm sitting here and I'm like, nope, I think I'm gonna do white cream. I don't think this is gonna take. I tried to do liquid because it's not much, but I think you do just need to use the good old KBD white out. A more dishonest YouTuber would do this all off camera and tell you guys like, oh, I, I knew everything right the first time. Nope. Uh. Y'all, I just can't get you break. You're like, why are you complaining? You literally did this to yourself. This isn't what Sofia Coppola would have wanted for me. Yeah, there we go. You guys, everybody's always like, how do you do this big makeup? Small makeup is harder. Like precision, it's all harder. I hope this works. I really hope it does. So I'm setting the white with some white shadow. That looks a little messy. However, we're gonna do all this ornate, like black liner under it, so don't worry. So Priscilla's makeup does not do the 60s wing like mine did. Hers wraps around, so let's, pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look like much without like, li you know, liner and lashes and mascara and stuff, but. All right, are you guys clocking how much of my brain power it's taking to do this? Um, I zoomed down some pictures of her and she does have white liner and it meets in the middle. So, you know, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna do some mascara here on the side before we continue. Again, I kinda need to build out one eye to see what's gonna happen here. Half Magic has this lovely Eye Electric Extreme Lengthening Mascara. Let's see, I don't love the packaging, but it is lengthening, definitely lengthening. That is definitely longer lashes for sure. 
Hi, I'm just finishing this. So I took a deep black brown eyeshadow. This is, I think it's called Dark Brown from Anastasia. And I just smoked out the bottom because I know I'm gonna do a nice set of full lashes on the bottom. So I just wanted to kind of prime that. And also my eyes are so small. She had really full eyes. I do have to cheat bigger by like buffing it out more. So now we gotta do some top liner. So she has this floating crease and it stresses me out because <laughs> Graphic floating creases stress me out. But let's just do it. I have this uh, walnut here from KVD Beauty. It's a very, very deep, deep, deep brown. And I think we just have to go for it. We just gotta do like an arc shape here. We just gotta follow and freehand. Oh God. <sighs> Wish me luck. <clears throat> Nothing has happened. I'm like sweating. All right, something's happening. Now, if I was a real person, I'd probably do this with a pencil, but because I'm in drag, I was like, just use a paintbrush. It's, pencil's not gonna wanna lay over glued down eyebrows. You know what I mean? That's a pretty good line. Now I'm gonna add to it with some shadow just to like buff it out. I have this little mini palette from Sigma, this tiramisu little browns. And I just grabbed this because I thought, oh, it's tiny. It's just kind of neutral. It'll be good for this exact thing. Oop. Halloween. The worst thing about Halloween is like every annoying theater gay you've ever met is dressed like Winifred Sanderson. Very pretty. I'm gonna take this Rimmel concealer that I used to highlight in the beginning of the video. And I'm just gonna carve the crease a little, just carve the lid just a little. Yeah, that's what this needed for sure. That's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do this to this side and we'll be right back. So I'm gonna put my top lashes on first. I feel like with these looks, sometimes I just can't see it until there's some lashes on. We gotta do bottom lashes too. I have some Gerard Cosmetics lashes. These are actual bottom lashes, I believe. So normally, you know, I wear top lashes and I kind of clip them and, and play with them as bottom lashes. But I think for this look, we actually need to wear bottom lashes. Now for bottom lashes, I like to cut them in half because too much to glue one whole strip on such a sensitive part of my eye. So I'm gonna do the inside first. You can't even see them at all, can you? They're way too small. Good. Okay, that's okay. I brought some extras to kind of like supplement. So like, I, I had a feeling they were gonna look too small. These need to trim. Now, I, whenever I'm trimming lashes, I just like, what you wanna do is you wanna cut into them. If you just cut them straight across, they're gonna look like little toothbrush bristles. You still want them irregular and kind of flawed or they won't look right. So that you just kind of build onto the eye. This really needed bottom lashes. I want them shorter on the ends and longest in the middle for this look. Like I want the, the longest chunk in the middle of the size. So for the end pieces, I'm really gonna chode them out. Cool. So we got our beautiful eyes on. Aren't they beautiful? I think we could use more blush, but you know how I feel about blush. I think it's important. I'm just gonna take, at this point, I'm gonna re-highlight under my eyes. I'm gonna take my lightest powder here and really pound it. You almost wanna take like, a little Trixie powder puff, the heart-shaped one, and you almost want to press it. Like, instead of brush it in, you almost want to press it under the eye to give it that super light under eye. See that how it makes it super light under the eye? You just have to be careful how much, because I'm so fair, I can kind of get away with it. Uh, it just, it can turn too white too fast for sure. All right, we need to do lips here. Spice lip pencil. Priscilla's lips are a little more pointed than I normally do. They kind of are almost like Delta Works lips where they have that very clean point. All right, I got this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I love these, actually. This color is nudist. It's called nudist. Okay, great. Like so. God, I really am not a beautiful woman without a certain amount of makeup on, but that's okay. We're just having fun today, folks. I mean, lest we forget, Scott Barnes couldn't even make me look good with less makeup on, so like, what chance did I have here today? Then I'm gonna go in with Bobble, which is a discontinued color from us, but it really is perfect for this, so. It's not pretty, we should bring it back, right? Isn't that beautiful? Little more blush, come on. I think it's time to set this and put on some hair and see what the tea is. <laughs> you guys, this is so weird. I have not worn a brown wig like this in a very long time. Listen, I tried my best. I know this doesn't look great. I know that I'm not that girl per se. I know that I'm not that girl you thought I was. I know that Elvis wouldn't marry me. Okay, I understand that. I just, I just wanted to switch it up for you guys on the channel, <laughs> and I'm sorry. And here we are, and Priscilla, I'm sorry, to the family of the Presleys, to Sofia Coppola, to everybody involved in the film. I'm so sorry that I came and that this is what I took away from it. What do I like about it? I think the eye makeup is actually really pretty on someone else. Like, I think that's actually really nice. It's just not for me. These dark brows are not for me. Less contouring is not for me. Dark hair is not for me. So much of this is not for me, and that's okay. And that's okay. And that's how we learn that things aren't for us. We have to try. And then we have to ask ourselves, is this okay? In this case, it wasn't. 
It wasn't okay. I don't know, here we are. Listen, if you have brown hair, I'm happy for you. Some people just don't look good with brown hair. And I think I might be one of those people. I just, oh God. I mean, it's a great look for her. It really does not work on me, does it? Jesus, happy Halloween, bitch. Damn. Anyway, thank you for watching today. Uh, nobody at Half Magic is gonna claim me for using these products, so I guess it's not worth shouting out. I do like the blush. Sweetie Blush from Trixie Cosmetics with some nice peach blush over it. Pretty, I don't know. Is it growing on me? I better get out of here before I start to like it. You guys know I can totally flip flop on things. So to my family, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's fine, it's fun. Sometimes I have to get on here and do something, even though I know I'm not gonna like it, I just have to do it anyway. I don't think, <laughs> just like, this is so weird. My best, best application of this makeup, I was not gonna like. I'm just not a dark hair girl. It's so weird. I, it's really wild how much your hair color just changes everything. I mean, I do get it. Like these light pastels with really dark hair, I do get that. I do like that. I gotta get out of here. Thank you for joining me on the channel today. Go see Priscilla. This is unsponsored, but I really loved the movie. It was so beautiful. The hair, the makeup, the performances, the storytelling, it was an amazing film. And um, try not to think of me when you're there. Bye.